Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the SwiftTech H20120 Compact Water Cooling Kit. What's included is the user's manual, two 10 inch lengths of 3 8 inch Norprene tubing, an MCR120 radiator with reservoir, a 120 millimeter fan, a 7 volt fan adapter, the Apogee Drive 350 water block with pump, thermal compound, Hydrex coolant, a funnel, and all the materials needed for installation. The Apogee 350 combines the technology of the well-known Apogee water block and the quiet MCP350 pump all in one small unit. The water block is the CNC machined C110 copper base plate. It was designed using computational fluid dynamics. The patent pending diamond pin matrix is optimized to increase wet surface area coolant velocity while minimizing pressure drop. Also on the outside, this plate has a mirror finish, which allows excellent contact between it and the CPU. There are two 3 8 inch bars, and here's the power connection and the RPM sensor. Note that it comes with the materials needed for installation on all current motherboards. The radiator is a modified quiet power MCR120 with the addition of a reservoir. The radiator has flat brass tubes and louvered copper fins with brass plenum chambers and frame construction for optimum thermal conductivity. 3 8 inch barbs are used on the radiator as well. The reservoir can be easily filled with coolant by removing the cap at the top of the radiator. Please note that the radiator can be mounted inside the case if there's room. Otherwise, it can be installed outside the case using the optional rad box. By combining the water block and pump together, and the radiator and reservoir together, SwiftTech has simplified the traditional four component loop into just two components. This reduces the space required for installation and it tremendously simplifies the installation process over most water cooling kits. The 3 8 inch laboratory grade Norprene tubing is a big improvement over standard vinyl tubing. It's much less porous than vinyl tubing and hence fewer Phillips are required. It also doesn't crack or degrade easily. The downside to Norprene tubing is it's expensive compared to vinyl tubing. This is one of the reasons why most water cooling kits use vinyl tubing. Also note that they include smart coils on the tubes. This is to prevent kinking. Now have a listen to the integrated pump and the fan. First, just the pump. Now with the pump and the fan at 7 volts. And finally, the pump and the fan at 12 volts. If you're in the market for a compact, quality, easy to install water cooling system that performs really well, I would strongly recommend you check this product out. Now this compact version is not going to match the higher end systems from SwiftTech because they have bigger radiators, more fans and better pumps, but that's to be expected. But this unit will always outperform any current air coolers. Overall, this is a kick-ass product.
Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameatman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameatman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time. Take care. Required for installation and it's a tremendously. <laughs> Swift Tech has finally released their wow hoo hoo ha what air cooler that's currently on the market, hands down without a problem. Without a problem. Oh, without a problem. Compact, quality, easy to install water system. System that's so far so very good. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Video review. Hey, hey, hey.